session. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Heavenly Father, we come before you just asking, Lord, that you give us guidance and direction. We ask that you be in the midst of this meeting, Lord. We ask that you we pray that those people that lost their life in prayers, Lord, that you just cover them in your blood. We ask for all these blessings in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Spatelli. Here. Venez. Here. Kalwinski. Ulacki. Higgs. Here. Emerson. Here. Hinosa. Here. Opinker. Here. Kalwinski. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Clark Golick. Moving on to reading of minutes. President. Councilman Spatelli. Motion accepts the minutes for November 9, 2015. Second. Motion by Councilman Spatelli, second by Councilman Emerson on accepting the minutes. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Meeting accepted. Moving on to approval of claims. Mr. Chairman. Councilman Kowinski. Move to amend, uh, I'm sorry, move to pass claims beginning with claims dated 11 4 15 and ended with claims dated 11 12 15. Claim number 6103 through claim number 6194 inclusive. Second. It's a motion by Councilman Kowinski, second by Councilman Higgs on the accepting of the claims. Is there any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Councilman Kowinski. I move to amend in claim number. I'm going to give it the next one. Six one nine five for three thousand dollars to the Bank of New York Mellon Corporate Trust Department. Second. It's a motion by Councilman Coincy, second by Councilman Spitali for amendment of the claims. Is there any discussion on the amendment of the claims? Clerk Golick will call vote on the minute of the claims. Amendment. Markovich <coughs> Spitali. Venez? Yes. Kalwinski? Yes. Ulacki? Higgs? Yes. Emerson? Yes. Hinosa? Yes. Opinker? Yes. Omitted claims passed 7 0, 2 absent. Now the claims as written. Clerk Golick, roll call vote. Markovich? Spitali? Yes. Venez? Yes. Kalwinski? Yes. Ulacki? Higgs? Yes. Emerson? Yes. Hinosa? Yes. Opinker? Yes. Claims pass 7 0, 2 absent. <coughs> Moving on to public hearing. There is none. Uh, following that will be communications. We have any communications? Mr. President. Councilman Higgs. I did receive a correspondence <coughs> from the inspection department. It says Councilman Higgs, Hammond City Council, 5925 Calumet Avenue. Dear Councilman Higgs, exterior vital inspection was conducted on the roof of Miss Darlene Brown at 826 Dracker Street. Currently, the roof is in very bad shape, and it appears that the roof framing is also in poor and possible unacceptable condition. A 10,000 roof loan in the case will not correct the roof to meet the city standards. An inspection of the framing and interior access will give us a better evaluation of the existing roof framing and the potential structural problems that appear to exist with the structure regardless the project cost approximately cost to exceed of 20,000 a Wana Miller and that's redevelopment said the inspection department but redevelopment any other communications mr. president Councilman Venez? Uh, yes, we received a letter addressed to Councilman Higgs and the Hammond City Council from Kelly Kearney, uh, Code Enforcement Commissioner, regarding 838 Carroll Street. To all whom it may concern, the property at 838 Carroll has been purchased by the Hardest Hit Program 
and they are waiting to receive the deed. Once the deed is in hand, we can proceed with the demolition. The demolition order will uh, be in effect until March 2016. Kelly Kern. Any other communications? Communications is now closed. <laughs> Moving on to committee reports. Mr. President. Councilwoman Venez. I, yes, I would like to uh, read a list of the upcoming community and crime watch meetings. Um, the East Hammond Pullman Crime Watch will meet this evening, 6.30 p.m. at the Ophelia Steen Center um, on uh, Columbia. Edison Community Watch will meet Wednesday, December 2nd at Edison School. There is a time change on that one. That will be at 6 p.m. Uh, Edison on the Road. Uh, we also have a, a date and time change for that. Uh, they will meet at Golden Manor Senior Apartments on Wednesday, December 9th at 4 p.m. And the uh, O'Bannon School Choir will be caroling for the seniors. Hessville Crime Watch will meet Thursday, November 19th at the Gene Shepherd Center at 7 p.m. Irving Community Watch will meet Friday, December 4th, 9.15 a.m. at Irving School. Lafayette Neighborhood Watch meets uh, tomorrow night, which is Wednesday, November 18th, 6.30 p.m. at Lafayette School. Pulaski Park Neighborhood Association will meet Tuesday, November 24th at the American Legion on Goslin. And the South Hammond Crime Watch will meet Thursday, November 19th, 7 p.m. at the Hammond Housing Authority building. And that is how change happens. One person, one gesture, one moment at a time. Thank you. Okay, that concludes committee reports. Uh, moving on to ordinances, third and final passes. There are none. Moving on to introduction of ordinances. Clerk Golick. <clears throat> Item A, ordinance 15 dash 54, sponsored by Council Mulacki, Emerson, Opinker, and Councilwoman Venez. Mr. President. Councilwoman Venez. I move for first and second reading of 1554 and refer to Council as a whole. Second. It's a motion by Councilwoman Venez, second by Councilman Higgs. Any discussion? Uh, Mr. President. Councilwoman Venez. Uh, this is the salary ordinance for elected officials. Any other discussion? All those in favor of first and second reading? Aye. Aye. Opposed? First and second granted. Right here. Item B, ordinance 15-55, sponsored by Councilman Opinker, an ordinance authorizing the city controller to transfer funds from one light item to another within various city 2015 Budgets. Mr. President. Councilwoman Venez. I move for first and second reading of 1555 and refer to council as a whole. Second. There's a motion by Councilwoman Venez, second by Councilman Higgs to place 1555 and council as a whole, first and second reading. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Councilwoman Venez. Uh, yes, this ordinance is um, uh, end of year cleanup, uh, moving some. Uh, some funding from one line item to another. Any other discussion? All those in favor for first and second? Say aye. aye. Opposed? First and second granted. President O'Pinker, that concludes the introduction of ordinances. Thank you, Clerk Golick. Moving on to new unfinished business. Item A, Notice of Intent by the BZA Z-15-06, a variance of use to allow for a private parking lot for vehicles, trucks, related to the operation of Vans Industrial Incorporated, located at 253 Conduit Street, and the petitioner is by David Van Camp, also uh, Vans Industrial Incorporated. Mr. Chairman. Councilman Kowinski. Motion for passage of 15-33 for 
for variance of use to allow for private parking lot for vehicles slash trucks related to the operation of Vans Industrial Inc. located at 253 Condit Street. Second. Second. Councilman Kowinski, I believe that was 1553. Oh, yes it is. I'm sorry, 1553. Okay, there's a motion for final pass by Councilman Kowinski. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Second by Councilwoman Panez. Any discussion? Go or go or roll call vote on 1553. Markovich. Spatelli. Yes. Venez. Yes. Kalwinski. Yes. Ulaki. Higgs. Yes. Emerson. Yes. Hinosa. Yes. Opinker. Yes. Orange 1553 passes, 7 0, 2 absent. Yes, clerk, go with the resolution first. Resolution 15R-23, sponsored by Councilman Higgs. A resolution to reappoint Gregory Myricks to the Hammond Redevelopment Commission. Mr. President. Councilman Higgs. I move to pass resolution 15R-23, I so move. Second. There's a motion by Councilman Higgs, second by Councilman Spatelli. Is there any discussion? I'm sorry, Councilman Hinojosa, second that. Is there any discussion? Clerk Gullick, roll call vote on 15R23. Markovich, Spatelli, yes. Venez, yes. Kalwinski, yes. Ulaki, Higgs, yes. Emerson, yes. Hinosa. Yes. Opinker. Yes. Resolution 15R-23 passes, 7-0, 2 absent. Ordinance number 1556, sponsored by Councilman Higgs. An ordinance for residential parking only on the 800 block of Becker Street. Mr. President. Councilman Higgs. I move ordinance 15-56 on first and second reading and refer to council to hold it. I so move. Second. Gets motion by Councilman Higgs, second by Councilman Hinojosa for first and second reading and place in council as a whole. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? First and second granted. Any other new and unfinished business? Any other new unfinished business? New unfinished business is now closed. Moving on to public expression. First speaker of the evening will be Mrs. Lori Zolno. Lori Zolno, 7142 Forest. Uh, good evening. Uh, I would like to again address the council regarding electronic distribution of information. It's unfortunate that the council feels that living up to the letter of the law is sufficient and not the spirit of the law. We have and are evolving in the 21st century. We have become a society of instant information. The city's lack of evolution to keep pace with technology is sad. Posting the agenda outside the entrance to this chamber five days in advance just doesn't cut it. It's unfortunate that the council is willing to settle for sufficient, and I quote, there is nothing in the law that states you cannot surpass the law. You just must, must live, live up to its, its level. We are the largest city in Lake County, yet we allow smaller cities and towns to lead the way in, dis in disseminating information electronically to their residents. We should step up to the challenge and the fact that it doesn't cost anything should be that much more enticing to you. Thank you. Final, final speaker of the evening, Mr. Alvin Cheeks. Alvin Cheeks, 832 Merrill Street. Um, I'm accepting the apology from Chief Long. Um, he's an honorable guy, and I, I really appreciate how he uh, 
took care of that apology. I'd just like to thank Peter Kadick, John Cantrell, Ross and Hardy Law Firm for helping me out. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion by Councilman Hinojosa, second by Councilman Higgs. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Meeting adjourned. Aye.